Hi everyone. Uh, to do what today I want to have a look at three panels that might be interesting for people with a EcoFlow River 600 or EcoFlow R600. Uh, these panels I find interesting because they have a direct XT60 connector, so you can plug them in at the solar DC input directly. And as a free item, you get uh, even a charger, a solar charger for your 12-volt uh, batteries. So it's, it's quite flexible and it gets a number of DC connectors for other devices too. So, and the price, I find the price reasonable. As you can see in euros, it's 215, which means that it, it's about... Uh, exactly one euro or almost a bit more than one euro for each watt of uh, power that you get. Now these are not really flexible panels, they fold together and about this folding together, that's the most important thing I want to take a look at today. Uh, if you look at the 200 watt model, you see that it is, when folded, it's 29 inches. 73 centimeters and the height is 21 inches and 54 centimeters now pay attention to the thickness the 200 watt panel is 1.1 inch thick when folded together now i find it important to check whether you can stow this away in uh, your car your rv or a van um, because if it doesn't fit, then you have a problem. Now, these sizes, you will see the same sizes at the 100 watt panel. The only thing that is different is uh, the thickness. That's uh, almost half of it. And of course, the weight and the price, which is almost half of what the 200 watt panel is costing. So with regard to thickness, if you buy two 100 watt panels, then you have the same thickness, the same length, the same height. So, yeah, in general, I would not go for the 100 watt panel unless you have really a kind of reason because of the size of because of the weight that you want to go for the 100 watt panel. But in combination with the River or the R600 of EcoFlow, I would immediately go for the 200 watt panel. Um, now, about this 200 watt panel, uh, this 200 watt is only in ideal situations. Most of the time you will get half of that or even less. So there is a good argument to make to go for the Nokia 300. Um, because this 300 watt, if it really is generating 300 watt, then fine, that's a luxury problem. Then the R600 or the river will only take uh, 200 of these 300 watts. But most of the time you will not even get there. Certainly because if you put these panels flat on, uh, on the floor, on uh, where you are, uh, on the fields or whatever, then they will not uh, generate their maximum uh, power. So, there is a point to be made to say like, okay, go for the 300 watt uh, panel. Now there are two problems, potential problems with the 300 watt panel. First of all, at the moment it's not available uh, and we don't know exactly the price. So that might be something to, uh, to consider. If you can find a place where you can buy it and you see the price, compare it to the 200 watt, because it might be wiser to buy two 200 watt panels maybe, and then have 400 watts relative to that. Of course, 400 watts, then you go a bit overboard, then mm, you might have more hours in a day that you are not using the full potential of your panels. But again, that's a luxury problem. Um, the bigger issue here is the size when folded. The height is still the same, 21 inch and uh, 54 centimeters. 
thickness 1.1 like the 200 watt panel but the length is 104 centimeters and that might become an issue in some rvs fans or uh, cars that you have uh, it's also seven and a half kilogram i don't think that it will be a problem for most people but it's mostly the size the length it's a 30 yeah almost 30 centimeters longer so that might be an issue other than that of course it's a great uh, a great panel if you can get it for a good price which at the moment i don't know then uh, you might go for it if you have limited length then you might go back to the 200 watt panel and even consider to buy two of them um so that's that's a bit how i weigh it uh, i still have to look at my own fan to see what size will fit and but i might end up buying the 200 watt panel just because it is available and it's compact also uh, which doesn't hurt to have a compact solar panel of 200 watts and uh, maybe buy a second one if i need to so that's all folks that I, is what i wanted to say uh, so to repeat everything uh, uh, not everything but to sum it up have a look at the size of these panels when folded and check if it fits in your car rv or whatever situation you are yep okay that's all folks bye bye